and welcome back to another episode on the Philcraft server. I'm Sarfully and I'll be your host. And right now, I am standing on top of what I got of my one chunk farm. Um, see, there's the. I'm getting closer and closer and closer to the top. Um, so what is next will be the kelp farm. I want to do the kelp farm next because I want to get uh, my sources for smelting. All right, and uh, I love using. Uh, kelp blocks to use in my furnace. So once I get this up, then I can start getting my super smelter going, uh, and I can start smelting whatever stuff I need to at a quicker pace than I do now. Um, now I already gathered all the resources that I need for this kelp farm, which is a lot. It was a lot of observers. So what I also was able to do at the same time while gathering the resources I need I was able to finally extend the walls of what is the real one chunk farm which is slightly a b uh, bigger than a chunk all right two blocks in that direction two blocks in that direction bigger than a chunk um, so I was because I needed all the cobblestone I could to make the observers so let's go down and I'll show you real quick there's the beet farm complete and then there's the villager all right, collecting up all those beets. Um, what do I need beets for? Really not much yet. Uh, red dye, but with the update, I can use the beets to get bone meal with the compost block. So let's go down. And I'll show you how much already. Whoops, that's weak. Look at all those beets I got already, and I just pretty much finished it. Now what I did is I pretty much AFK'd stuff here um but yeah so let's get cracking on this kelp farm which uh should take me a while see look at all the observers one two three four five six stacks of observers all right i got a lot of repeaters all this stuff is pretty much for the kelp farm so let me get it built um and then i'll show you what it looks like uh, there is a little bit of tweaks that i do to it compared to the actual uh, tutorial that I'll link hopefully right here in the corner now if I remember um, but yeah uh, I do a little tweak of it because I found issues with it on another server and I had to do this to fix it so let me get building okay as you can see now I'm done building the kelp farm um, and it's all its glory um, and the thing that I did that I had to fix it all right compared to the tutorial all right games is pretty laggy right now um, if you see where the observers are, that's where the water level is supposed to be. Um, but I found in the old server that what would happen is uh, the kelp would turn that into a water source, and the kelp would just somehow keep growing up one more or something like that, and it just did uh, this top block right here become a water source, which would ruin the system, which brings it down into the center. Uh, let me see if I can. I'm gonna destroy a little bit of this farm show you what I mean um, it's probably the best view I'll be able to give you guys at the moment whoops too far down uh, but anyways what happens is the the kelp floats up and then there is this other stuff of water right here you can tell right there the kelp will float onto that and then down and push into the center down the center chute well what normally what used to happen is sometimes like I said above the observer become a water source so uh, 
it would cause like the kelp to flow backwards, whatever. And this, because this little ramp here would disappear, or it wouldn't work how it's supposed to. So just by simply adding another layer, and then doing the the water shoot to the center, that sort of fixed it. Um, and um, so I've been doing that for a while, and I've been building this. Uh, even uh, the person who I got the tutorial from, Freeloth, uh, said, uh, try to, after I built it, it said, hey, uh, put another block or layer over the, the observers. And I'm like, I already did that. It's like, I know the problem. So I'm good. All right. So now that this is done, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to do the sugarcane farm. Still debating if I want to do a cactus farm or not because cactus is just good for green dye. And it fills up the storage super fast. I don't know if I want to do that or if I just want to do pumpkin and melons all the way to the top of a, the iron farm or until I can reach to, to the, the very limit of where I can reach an iron farm the, and the iron farms limit or height is going to be determined between the space between the top of my beet farm I think that's the one I got on top uh, yeah beet farm so I, I think it's like 68 blocks or something like that I'll do the math again figure it out um, but my goal is to try to get the iron farm barely to tip out of that mountain. Um, and if I have to raise the mountain up a little bit to camouflage it, uh, that'll be fine. Um, but yeah, so I, I debate maybe not to do a cactus farm and just do layer upon layer upon layer of a pumpkin and melon farm. Because that one is pretty good. Um, Alright, so let me get uh, building the sugarcane farm. I'll get that built and then we'll see what I want to do from there. Well, I got the sugarcane farm up and running. It's looking pretty nice. It's just like this, copied on the back side of this, with two more sections just like this, with the hopper minecart uh, collecting all up. It's a very simple farm. Uh, really, really, really simple. Um, and then I was saying, like, the next task is like, well, do I want to make a cactus farm? Do I not want to make a cactus farm? Well, I kind of already went ahead and I decided. And my decision was to build it. And so, when we come up here, I've already built it. Yeah, I uh, went ahead. It was This was like the quickest farm. I think it took me only about an hour, maybe, to build this. And that was also like getting cactus. Um, and then you're going to go to a desert, get some cactus and sand. and Yeah, it's pretty simple. But now, for the last bit of this one chunk farm when I come up here to the top I put that little tower there and that is marking where I can put villagers for an iron farm so it's not that high up off the mountain base which is good um, so I can decorate it to make it look nice when it gets close to that point but what I am going to do from here all the way up to the bare minimum or the, the highest that I could possibly go uh, of nothing but pumpkin and melon farm. So it might be one, two, three, four, five, six layers of this pumpkin melon farm. I don't know, see how it goes. And then right directly above it should be the iron golem killing chamber with the iron farm right on top. The iron golem shouldn't have to fall very far to the killing chamber. Um, so there won't be a long tube. Uh, so I don't know if you're getting what I'm saying, but uh, so I'm going to get started on this pumpkin farm I should have a lot of the pieces I need I know I'm gonna to need to go get more pistons and observers and all this stuff but once I get one set done I'll show you what it looks like uh, and again uh, I'll link uh, link to the the tutorial where I'm getting all this uh, so you know most likely you already know but I'll do it anyways all right that's it okay now with the magic of editing I am done with the first layer of the pumpkin and melon farm. Um, let's go down and I'll show you what I've, how I've done it. Alright, this bottom layer here is nothing all but pumpkins. I mean, I could have uh, staggered it pumpkin, melon, pumpkin, melon, but I had more pumpkin seeds. So I just started off with the pumpkins. So yeah, and then the second layer is all melons. Now I would go up and you can see from the roof. Alright. <clears throat> so ta da, that is done for that layer now I was doing it's every it's five blocks high for that so if I want to keep it going one two three four five and then 
Oh, and there it goes. The daylight sensor. Um. Ooh, a little bit laggy here. Alright. Um, so that's five. So that'll be another layer here. This will be another five layer right, or another layer right here. So I'll make one, two, three, four, five, six platforms. And I might be able to go up one more before I reach the killing point of the golem, iron golem. So yeah, that'd be pretty good. That's just it's a lot of resources for this. But since I got this done, I figured it was time we could do something else. And I'll show you why. So let's go here around this old exit to where I dug that out. Yeah, what we're about to do, this will be the last thing we'll do for this episode. Um, next episode I'll finish up on the pumpkin and melon farm all the way to the top. And then probably start the iron farm. And then I'll be done with the one chunk farm. And we get, like, get going on actual fun stuff. Oh, one thing also I noticed is my little skeleton in my prison is gone. Just gone. Also, all my sheep. All the sheep are gone. Uh, must have been something with when the game was uh, going from server to server to server. Alright, well, finish Convert E Island. Well, if we look at my map, zoom in, I have got rid of all the cobblestone grids. So it doesn't look like a quilt no more. So the island is now done being converted. So I can actually take this and I'm just going to get rid of all of this. Ta-da! And that is now gone. Don't have to worry about that no more. Um, I'm going to relocate the chicken farm eventually. I'm going to put it right there next to the iron golem uh, killing station. Um, and I might even make it to where it dispenses into the... Or where <clears throat> where it will go into the, the hoppers along with the iron golem where the iron is going to go. That way uh, it will just shoot into my system and I'll make a... Uh, one of the chests, one of the little storage areas for chicken, and I'll have chicken. But I already got rid of the kelp farm that I had and my sugarcane farm. I got rid of those two since I already built them over there. Um, and that's it. Oh, and then <clears throat> I left this breeder on, and I just got a whole bunch of guys in there. Look at that. Uh, they're going to go into the iron farm once I get ready for that part, and I'll bring them all over. Alright, well, that is it. I hope you had fun seeing all the farms I've built. Um, yeah, it's pretty easy. Uh, probably pretty quick, too. I mean, there's a long time for me, really short time for you. But you get to see how a uh, one chunk farm built in survival uh, and how useful it is. So, hopefully, you have fun. I'll see y'all some other time soon, and uh, yeah, later.